Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for more Little Cup. This is my first uh, Smog on Rules Little Cup battle of Oros. It's actually my first Smog on Rules Little Cup match since Trainer Zabuza's tournament. So it's been quite a while for me. I'm, uh, I would say I'm a bit rusty, but I've been practicing quite a bit on Showdown. Um, my team, you'll notice, is not the team that did so epically well in that competition. Uh, it then, and I do have that team. I will use that team eventually. But I, after playing around with that team for quite some time, I realized, you know, yeah, it's it's super awesome. It wins a lot, but it's also not very fun to use. Um, so I decided I wanted to do something fun. So I was like, let's try for a sand team. And so this is the sand team I came up with. Um, and you know, you'll see how it does. You'll notice that two of the Pokemon are the same as on the super super awesome team. I still have Abra and I still have Tortuga. Um, my opponent is Max Carvalho. We actually I actually found him on Showdown. Um, but I uh, we were having like an OU match or something, and I was like, I recognize that name. Hey, I gave you some free Little Cup Pokemon. Yeah, you'll notice Heterodyne. That name might sound familiar. Um, and I was like, How are my Little Cup Pokemon treating you? And he's like, Yeah, they're fine. And I'm like, Let's have a Little Cup match. And he's like, Yeah, sure, let's do it. So here we are with this Little Cup match. Um, I felt pretty safe setting up my rocks first turn. I gotta go ahead and call Augustine my Sand Setter Upper back. You notice there's a there's a convenient Sand Counter at the bottom. That's um, for my benefit as much as yours. I really wish there were a sand counter in the actual in-game battle. Um, Showdown really spoils you for that kind of thing. So anyway, um, Volibi, excellent, excellent counter for his Cottony, uh, which I guess is the descendant of Ambar, my um, my own Cottony, uh, because it, yeah. Anyway, so uh, he could have had the dazzling gleam. I didn't really think he'd have the dazzling gleam. His IBM is a great counter for my Volibi. Can't really do anything to uh, him except for Brave Bird for Chep damage. It's not really going to do very much. I go now out into Augustine. Uh, I'm actually bluffing that I have Earthquake. Oh, this is a bad story. I should have Earthquake. I don't have Earthquake because this is the Pokemon... Uh, this was bred in Gen 5. So, uh, as you know, Pokemon in Gen 5, if you delete a move that's on their set, you can't get it back with the move tutor, unlike Pokemon that you breed in Gen 6. I'm talking about, like, egg moves and things like that. So, um, it has both Yawn and Whirlwind, and the idea is you use one for phasing, whichever you desire. Um, so this one was available for trading, and the idea was you replace one of the two moves. Uh, with Earthquake. Doesn't matter which, but you gotta replace one of them. And I forgot to replace either. So that means that I don't actually have any attacking moves on this guy. And that means that I am completely bluffing that I can do anything to that Ponyard. Um, so here I'm just back out into um, Volibi, which is one of my more defensive mons. And um, I figure can do decently well against River. I, you know, looking back, I think I might have been better off going out into my Drillbur. Drillbur is, you know, has decent bulk and would have outsped because this is not, it's not the Drillbur that you might have seen previously on uh, my Little Cup teams. It's, instead of Moldbreaker, it runs Sand Rush. So that means speed through the freaking roof when there's sand up. And that means I can, sweeping is really, really freaking easy, especially considering I have Swords Dance. So here, yeah, Brave Bird ain't gonna do jack. Um, and the Sandstorm subsides. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, even though even though it can't actually attack, I can still send it out for phasing purposes. I've already been knocked off, so I'm not really worried about, you know... If, so knockoff isn't going to do very much damage. I figure it's a pretty safe switch. So um, my health gets down decently low at this point. I probably should have just slacked off here, but I was really hoping to get off that sweep with Haas, my, um, my drill burr. Iron Head here. Wow, that did a lot more damage than I was expecting. And here he goes for Sucker Punch, and I really should have switched out expecting the Sucker Punch. I could have even gone for Swords Dance and try to play Mind Games. Oh, start that would have been a bad idea in case he'd just gone for an attacking move. So I was really expecting him not to go for the Sucker Punch here. I have no idea why. And so here I'm like, well, you know, I have to bring out my Abra, and I've lost my primary Sweeper. And that really, really sucked. Well, okay, secondary Sweeper, because I also have um, Tortuga, but it's way too early to bring out Tortuga because Cottony's still on the field. So I go for Hidden Power Fighting, and I'm like, oh, cool, I'll kill, I'll kill Heterodyne. But no, it does not kill. I will put up a calc to see whether that was min damage, but I suspect it wasn't. I just have a suspicion that it wasn't. So, um, yeah, he's back up to Berry Juice, and I'm screwed. So I go out into Lilu. I don't think he's going to go for a Flash Cannon, but the sand is up, so Lilu, my Lily, who you might recognize from Gen 5, it was on one of my Gen 5 teams, um, will have a special defense through the roof, and that's great. Um, so Lilu, about Lilu, um... The reason it's on this team, 
You saw, uh, you know, it's, it's LCU, it's not that great of a Pokemon, but I have a major, major weakness to water, especially Scald on this team, so Alilu is here to absorb the Scalds. Um, so yeah, here I was hoping he would just uh, Iron Head and not get the flinch, and he didn't get the flinch, and I was able to take it out with an Earth Power, Earth Power specifically there, four Steel types, so I'm now very glad that he, easily his biggest threat on this team, um, that Ponyard, is gone. I'm going to withdraw Alilu here. Uh, gonna go out into uh, Monica, who should be able to take any hit from this guy. Knock off, so that means my Violet is gone. That's not great. Um, it's really not great. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock him off. I was actually expecting him to switch out into someone else. Um, but whatever. So now neither of us has our Violets. He's gonna go ahead and U-turn. Notice that I outsped there. Um, so I think it's a speed tie because he outsped me on a previous turn. So uh, I think that, yeah, so this. It's a defensive Mianfu, and so I guess uh, no speed Mianfu is the same as no speed Volibi. Or maybe my Volibi does have speed, I don't actually... I'll put up stuff in my annotations. Um, Heterodyne, I'm gonna need to switch out. I go down to Augustine, um, because, you know, Lilu could have taken a Volt Switch or a Thunderbolt, but can't take a Flash Cannon. So, uh, Thunderbolt here, that's fine. I think I just went for the Yawn. Uh, the thing about Magnemite is, holy crap, that special attack. So, my Sand Setter Upper is down, and this is what, these will be my last four Sand Turns. Go on down to Lilu, I'm thinking, please, 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 can I take can I take a Flash Cannon with the Sand Boost? I am not sure that I can, and I can't. No. Just not happening. So, I'm screwed now. I'm completely and totally screwed. Because I've already shown that uh, I can't one-shot this guy with a Hidden Power Fighting. So, my only hope now is to prematurely go for uh, Shell Smash, and uh, you know, that's not going to work because he's got the Cottony, and he knows how to use Cottony. Uh, Cottony is an extremely effective Pokemon against Tortuga. In fact, the reason that I usually run Cottony is visibly for Shell Smashers. Uh, however, I'm thinking I might be able to play some mind games here. So there is Sand, so there's residual damage happening. Uh, my attack is boosted, and I will outspeed this guy, and so... I go for Aqua Jet, which is, which is priority, so I, even though I'm expecting to go for Encore, and so I get a crit, and uh, even with all that, it didn't do any damage, because holy crap, the thing is defensive. Um, I'm not sure that this is my... So this must not be my uh, Cottony, because mine is nicknamed. Um, I don't think I was giving out any non-nicknamed Pokemon, so, but maybe this is a descendant of it. He might have wanted to rebreed because he hated the nickname or whatnot. I really wish that Overcoat block, le block Leech Seed as well. It does not. Magic Guard does, but uh, Overcoat does not. Oh well. So, um, yeah, this just is not a good situation at all. Uh, he goes in and, and subs. Um, I could have roosted here, uh, but I decided to just go for Brave Bird, and I figured it would hit anyone. Well, except for Magnemite, and yeah, you know, Mag that Magnemite, man. He's got, you know, considering these are all either my Pokemon or descendants of my Pokemon, um, <laughs> they're all doing particular. They're, all, you know, he's got a really solid team. So it's nice to know that uh, other people can build solid teams out of Pokemon that I have without redoing my own teams. It's actually kind of cool that I have that many breeds available that people can do that. So whatever. Oh yeah, and uh, disclaimer, whatever PSA. If you, if anyone here in watching this video wants some free Little Cup Pokemon, I give them away for free because that's the kind of guy I am. I'm trying to spread the joy of Little Cup throughout the world, so uh, there's a link in the description to a, uh, that gives a link to a spreadsheet of all of the Little Cup Pokemon that I have. Um, choose as many as you want. Literally, as many as you want. And I will attempt to find time to give them to you. So now, um, more and more bad situation. His um, Magnemite is back up to full health, thanks to that Leech Seed. Uh, I can't I obviously can't one-shot it with Hamesh, but Hamesh is my only choice here. I go for Psychic to break the Sturdy. Um, yeah. And, oh, by the way, so Hamesh really needs um, Protect to deal with Fake Outers. And this Hamesh does not have Protect. Because this was the one that I made before I realized that I needed Protect. So it has Shadow Ball instead, and it didn't really matter anyway, even if I had Protect, another thing I could have done. His um, Diglett is going to outspeed, uh, and uh, yes. So, you might be wondering what's with the nickname um, for that Diglett. Um, it's, my, it's a nickname that I came up with. Uh, D. Ramsey is the name of the actor from Arrow who plays Diggle. And I drive my wife nuts. Every time we watch Arrow, I'm like, you know, something happens to uh, Diggle, and I'm like, oh, poor Diglett. Um, yeah. I can't say it's very creative, but whatever. 
Uh, anyway, so yeah, I, I hauled um, Diggle, Diglet on Arrow, and therefore I had to name my Diglet after the actor who played Diggle on Arrow. So, I went for Shell Smash. Here, I'm going to go ahead and go for Shell Smash. I'm, I'm going to, you know, just... I go for uh, Stone Edge, I think, but I was just hoping that he would overpredict and go for a Giga Drain. No. So now I'm at, oh, I'm at plus four, so that's something. I figured now he's going to take me out with a Giga Drain. Well, he won't take me out with a Giga Drain, um, and, um, but, yeah, whatever. This is just not, not good. So he goes for Taunt here. I think he might not actually have any attacking moves, because he showed me Substitute. Uh, Leech Seed, yeah, no attacking moves. Okay, so, um, he goes for Leech Seed here. That's going to break my sturdy. Uh, here's the thing, though. Since I'm forced to struggle, I'm going to get to take him out with a struggle. Ain't that just peachy? That's just kind of wonderful. So, um, now the question is, can I take out everyone else with struggle? I can't take out Magnemite with struggle, but my Encore ends! Aha! So this is wonderful. So now River's out, uh, his Mianfu, and doesn't have its Violite. He goes for Fake Out, that's fine, whatever. Uh, doesn't activate my Berry Juice, that would have been nice. And he, he said, said later on he choked here. Um, this was a bad, bad move, and he could have easily, he should have just gone for Drain Punch. Um, I think actually, but I, uh, there's a chance that Waterfall would have won hit. So here's, will Waterfall one hit KO? Um, no. I think I would have needed max damage to one hit KO. I'm actually not sure that even that would have done it. But I could have gotten the flinch. That was my only hope, getting the flinch. And then I could have actually destroyed his team. I could have swept with Tortuga and come back. But the odds, the odds were just really not in my favor there. So, Max Carvalho beat me with a team of my own Pokemon. I feel completely okay with this. Uh, folks, if you want to battle me in Little Cup and you and you want some free Little Cup Pokemon, uh, or you have a Little Cup Pokemon, I love Little Cup. You know me. So, uh, ch comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. I will see you all tomorrow for more LCPGL funness against Trainer Zabaza.